Welcome to the Chemistry YouTube channel. Get 2013 Part 3. Question number 21. What is the configuration EZ notation for the following molecule? The molecule has been given here. We will number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let us take this compound, this part, you will have CH3, H, this part this hydrogen now we number this side here it is 1 it is 2 here it is 1 this is 2 and seeing like this horizontally you see the same number the number on same side hence it is z it is 2z next we will get we will see this part we take this part We will get take this part. You number it. This is one. This is two. This is one. This is two. And seeing horizontally, the numbers on the same side. Two on the same side. One on the same side. Hence, it is four z. Next, we will take this part, first you split vertically, now this is 1, this is 2, this is 1, this is 2. Now on seeing horizontally, the number you see this is on opposite side 2, 2, 1, 1 opposite side, hence it is 6 e opposite side, hence the compound is shows 2 z, 4 z, 6 e compound a. Question number 22 Which of the following reactions involve carbon free radical intermediate? Hansdike reaction, asylum reaction, condensation, Sandmay reaction, all of the above. The correct answer is D. You will see the reaction one by one. See Sandmay reaction. In Sandmay reaction, the compound, the azo compound, this is the diazo compound, reacts with the copper, cupra Cu plus, and the, uh, the diazo compound was removed by following a free radical so free radical is the intermediate here by forming the product in Sanmay reaction if you take unstaker reaction this uh, ester reacts with silver bromide to give a free radical here oxygen free radical and uh, if you remove this uh, carbon dioxide you will get the alkyl halide as a product is a Hans Decker reaction. In acyl ion mechanism, also you will get a carbon free radical. Carbon free radical is formed here, diketone is formed as a product. Question number 23 Ketones and aldehydes react with alpha bromoester and zinc metal powder to give what will be the product? This is a Reformatsky reaction. The reaction between carbonyl compound is aldehyde or ketone 
reacts with alpha bromo ester in presence of metal zinc to give beta hydroxy ester as a product is known as Reformatsky reaction. Listen here. Is an alpha alpha haloester. This reacts with an aldehyde or ketone in presence of zinc metal to give is a alpha is a carbonyl compound is alpha this is beta beta hydroxy ester hence answer is is it not a beta hydroxy ether this is beta hydroxy ester anisole on birch reduction gives what happens you see in anisole this is anisole anisole reacts with one electron and sodium in presence of sodium lithium there is a liquid ammonia you will get a radical here anion with a radical is a uh, two possible reaction t-butyl hydroxide reacts here to give this product and this radical again reacts t-butyl hydroxide reacts to give this product on hydrolysis on hydrolysis it gives a conjugated ketone it is a conjugated ketone so given option in the given option you see this was not a conjugated ketone this was not a conjugated ketone is a conjugated ketone but it has it contains a two double bond so this was not an answer this was not a conjugated ketone and answer c is correct c is the product of birch reduction on reducing anisole question number 25 a reactant has been given its reaction with the pcl5 you will give what is the product is formed this uh, this reaction is called beckman rearrangement this beckman rearrangement will uh, see the mechanism what the product is formed let us write this reactant like this ch3 NOH in presence of PCl5, P2O5 and uh, on hydrolysis, this is an upon hydrolysis gives OH2, here it is OH2 and this OH2 is, was removed and you will get CH3 C PH N plus and this methyl group shift here shifts here to give PH C N CH3 you will get an carbocation here this upon hydrolysis gives OH C N CH3 pH this on rearranging you will get pH CO NH CH3 this is the product answer c is correct question number 26 match the following match the following wolf fischner reduction nh2 nh2 was used as a product used as a reagent rosenman reduction barium sulfate BASO4H2 palladium catalyst has been used 
Hoffman rearrangement is dr2 NaOH. Mirwin MPV reduction. MPV reduction we will use aluminium isopropoxide Al isopropyl trice. Hence option B is correct. Question number 27. Friedel Crafts reaction of benzene with a propene in presence of AlCl3 gives. You take benzene and propene. This is a propene. In presence of AlCl3 gives a secondary carbocation and this is a product isopropyl benzene is the product the structure next question number 28 the structure of the compound which exhibits uv spectra 268 nanometer ir 3067 2907 1608 1473 okay in nmr it gives two singlet two singlet means the compound is symmetrical the compound should be symmetrical here you see this compound it gives 1 2 3 4 5 6 signal it gives 6 signals hence uh, in the nmr spectra we get two only two signal so this compound was not allowed here you will get uh, 1 2 3 4 5 signal it gives 5 signal and it, this compound was also an unsymmetrical it was also ruled out here you will get 1 2 3 4 5 signal here you will get 5 signals this compound was also an unsymmetrical this was also ruled out here we will get 1 2 here you will get 2 signal this compound is symmetrical this compound is symmetrical hence option C is correct you will see how it is 135 trimethyl benzene you will get a this uh, a proton was highly de shielded and you will get a uh, singlet at 7.16 and the ch3 signal was shown at 2.34 it's a low field 2.34 using the nmr spectra we can identify the compound question number 29 an organic compound c7h7no3 exhibit the following spectral data IR data has been given and NMR data it, it shows uh, three signal has been given the compound is the correct option is B you will get the one singlet it shows CH3 this is this one is CH3 which is an singlet here this CH3 was not an singlet hence this was not ruled out here this uh, CH3 uh, gives an singlet compound this is at a 3.9 this uh, here also this CH3 will get a singlet but this this was not the compound this was ruled out this ch3 3.83 and this proton shows highly de shielded proton 7.25 and due to presence of no2 this proton is very high de shielded due to minus a effect this 8.15 so this and doublet this one also shows doublet two doublet and one singlet 
which of the following is a strong base and a better nucleophile there is a difference between uh, base and nucleophile both are not same let us take stronger base poor nucleophile example you have to understand this uh, concept some strong base or poor nucleophile example due to steric hindrance you take t butyl t butoxide tertiary butoxide due to steric effect it is a strong base but it is a very poor nucleophile t butyl lithium etc these are all strong base but poor nucleophile let us take iodine iodine is a larger in size is a weak base but it is a good nucleophile but it is a good nucleophile because the larger electron cloud is highly polarizable let us take nh minus and oh minus oh minus you know it is a strong base but it is a not a better nucleophile it is a poor nucleophile F minus fluoride is just opposite to iodine. It is a strong nucleophile, but it is a very weak base. So, in the given option, CH three minus acts as a stronger base as well as better nucleophile. Hence, option C is correct. Here, option C is correct. CH three minus acts as a strong base as well as better nucleophile. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. We will see in part four. Thank you.